Untold Tales of Eccentric Geniuses from the Past. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the most eccentric geniuses from the past. These are people who were ahead of their time, and whose ideas and inventions have changed the world. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number 1, Leonardo da Vinci. The famous artist and inventor was known for his unconventional lifestyle. He would often buy caged birds just to set them free, and he would sometimes wear pink tunics and green stockings. Number 2, Archimedes, a Greek mathematician, physicist, engineer, inventor, and astronomer. He is best known for his contributions to mathematics, including the principle of buoyancy and the concept of the lover. But did you know that he was also a recluse? He would often spend days at a time locked in his room, working on his inventions and theories. Number 3, Nikola Tesla. He was a Serbian-American inventor, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, and futurist who is best known for his contributions to the design of the modern alternating current, AC, electricity supply system. But did you know that he was also obsessed with the number three? He would only stay in hotel rooms that were divisible by three, and he would walk around a building three times before entering it. Number 4, Pythagoras, the ancient Greek philosopher and mathematician was known for his belief in the power of numbers. He believed that everything in the universe could be explained through mathematics, and he even had a secret society of followers who practiced his teachings. Number 5, Vincent van Gogh. The famous painter was known for his mental instability and his love of bright colors. He would often paint with thick layers of paint and would sometimes eat his paint. Number 6, Isaac Newton, an English mathematician, physicist, and astronomer who is widely recognized as one of the most influential scientists of all time. He is best known for his laws of motion and universal gravitation. But did you know that he was also a collector of weird objects? He had a collection of over 100 different types of coins, and he even had a pet dog named Diamond who would knock over candles with his tail. Number 7, Emily Dickinson. The famous poet was known for her reclusive lifestyle and her love of nature. She would often write her poems in secret and would only share them with a select few. Number 8, Galileo Galilei. The famous astronomer and physicist was known for his love of experimentation. He would often conduct experiments in public and would sometimes argue with other scientists about his findings. Number 9, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. The famous composer was known for his prodigious talent and his love of music. He would often compose music in his head and would sometimes write entire symphonies without ever putting pen to paper. Number 10, Albert Einstein. The famous physicist was known for his unconventional thinking and his love of simplicity. He would often wear the same clothes every day and would sometimes forget to comb his hair. Number 11, Ada Lovelace, an English mathematician and writer who was known for her work on Charles Babbage's early mechanical general purpose computer, the analytical engine. But did you know that she was also a gambler? She was known to spend hours at the horse races, and she even developed a mathematical model for betting on horses. Number 12, Blaise Pascal, French mathematician, physicist, and inventor who is best known for his contributions to the study of fluids and the invention of the mechanical calculator. But did you know that he was also a devout Christian? He had a religious experience in 1654 that led him to abandon his scientific work and devote himself to theology. Number 13, Alan Turing, an English mathematician, computer scientist, logician, cryptanalyst, philosopher, and theoretical biologist. He is widely considered to be the father of theoretical computer science and artificial intelligence. But did you know that he was also a marathon runner? He would often run 40 miles a week, and he even ran a marathon in under three hours. Number 14, Marie Curie, a Polish-born physicist and chemist who conducted pioneering research on radioactivity. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, and the first person to win two Nobel Prizes in different fields. But did you know that she was also a daredevil? She loved to ride bicycles and motorcycles, and she even drove a mobile X-ray unit during World War I. Number 15, Benjamin Franklin, an American polymath who was a leading author, printer, political theorist, politician, Freemason, postmaster, scientist, inventor, humorist, civic activist, statesman, and diplomat. But did you know that he was also a nudist? He believed that clothing was unnecessary and would often take air baths by sitting naked in front of an open window. Number 16, 
Hedy Lamarr, an Austrian-born American actress and inventor who was known as the most beautiful woman in the world. She co-invented an early technique for spread-spectrum communications and frequency hopping, which paved the way for modern wireless communication. But did you know that she was also a secret inventor? She would often work on her inventions in her trailer on movie sets, and she even designed a tablet that would dissolve in water to create a carbonated drink. Number 17, Margaret Hamilton, an American computer scientist and systems engineer who was the director of the Software Engineering Division of the MIT Instrumentation Laboratory, which developed onboard flight software for NASA's Apollo program. But did you know that she was also a mother? She would often bring her daughter to work with her, and she even had a special play area set up in her office. Number 18, Mary Anning, English fossil collector and paleontologist who made many important discoveries in the Jurassic marine fossil beds in the cliffs along the English Channel. But did you know that she was also a self-taught scientist? She had no formal education, but she taught herself geology, anatomy, and scientific illustration. Number 19, John von Neumann, Hungarian-American mathematician, physicist, and computer scientist who made major contributions to a wide range of fields, including game theory, quantum mechanics, and computer architecture. But did you know that he was also a heavy drinker? He would often drink martinis for breakfast and continue drinking throughout the day. Number 20, Rosalind Franklin, English chemist and X-ray crystallographer who made critical contributions to the discovery of the structure of DNA. But did you know that she was also a skilled photographer? She used her photography skills to capture high-quality images of DNA and other molecules, which were essential to the discovery of the double helix structure. Number 21, Grace Hopper, American computer scientist and United States Navy Rear Admiral who is credited with developing the first compiler for a computer programming language. But did you know that she was also a prankster? She once famously removed Demoth from a computer and coined the term debugging to describe the process of fixing computer errors. Number 22, John Nash, American mathematician who won the Nobel Prize in Economics in 1994 for his work on game theory. But did you know that he also struggled with mental illness? He was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia in the 1950s and spent many years in and out of psychiatric hospitals. Number 23, Katherine Johnson, American mathematician who worked for NASA and was instrumental in the success of the early space program. But did you know that she was also a trailblazer? She was one of the first African-American women to work as a mathematician at NASA and helped to break down racial and gender barriers in the field of science. Number 24, Werner Heisenberg, German physicist who is best known for his contributions to the development of quantum mechanics. But did you know that he was also a poet? He wrote poetry throughout his life and even published a collection of his poems in 1974. Number 25, Rosalind Yaelo. American medical physicist who won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1977 for her development of the radioaminoassay technique. But did you know that she was also a feminist? She was a strong advocate for women in science and worked to promote gender equality throughout her career. Their stories remind us that creativity and brilliance often come with a price. But it's also a reminder that we should embrace our own quirks and eccentricities, as they may be the key to unlocking our own genius. So. If you're feeling a little different or weird, don't worry. You're in good company. Who knows, you may be the next eccentric genius that the world will remember for centuries to come. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments below.